today. My name is Dave Haynes. I'm the project director on Okra. I'm also the head of cloud services at Jayant. Okra is a project with four consortium partners, Jayant, Trust IT, CERN, and the Rayo Group. And the Okra project came about um, when the European Commission realized that commercial services, commercial cloud services, were providing a great deal of benefit to the European research community and wanted to make these services far easier to consume. Um, European public sector procurement is quite complex and um, we needed to make the, the services easily available to the research community in Europe. Um, so I'm going to tell you, just remind you about what we set out to do in Okra, what we've done so far, talk about some of the more recent activities, some of the obstacles we've encountered, um, how we've overcome those. But just to start off with, I'll talk a little bit about the framework. The cloud framework was published on TED on the 15th of April 2020. The framework contracts were signed in Q1 2021, as the framework contracts from a previous Jean Cloud um, framework were, were coming to an end. Um, the market response to the tender was 1100 bids, which we were we're really impressed by. We think this is unprecedented and, and um, Okra really put a, put a big foot forward. The result of the tender was 473 cloud contracts across 40 lots. 37 cloud platforms are represented across the region. There is a minimum of nine platforms per country, a maximum of 17 platforms per country. Those will include the bigger hyperscale providers, um, big European providers like Orange, and then a number of other European providers. So there's quite a selection for the research community. Um, and then the Jean 4 project has a contract management team that has picked up the management of these contracts and works closely with the NRENs, the suppliers, and the consuming institutes. They actually get quarterly reporting from the suppliers, which is mandatory, and we are able to dashboard um, the consumption trends for this community in cloud in Europe. Um, we, we reach about 10,000 institutes. Oversight on all project activities, but particularly the funding activities is provided by the OCRA Expert Advisory Board. Um, and you can go to the OCRA project site and, and see who those people are. They're all external to the project, but, but certainly well known within the European research community. The platforms have all been tested and Ignacio from CERN is going to tell you a little bit about that. Um, there are peering points of presence um, with um, Géant, with the Géant network, um, which ser serves the European community. There are data ingress and egress waivers in place. Edugain centralized onboarding, so the Géant um, RE interfederation has been taken into account, and then a lot of additional discounting. I think the research institutes would be hard pressed to find a better deal than consuming through an OCRA call off. And then there's an, an online catalog by country for both cloud services and EO services, which Rob is going to tell you a little bit about. But as I said, visit the Okra project site and, and have a look to see what we what we have on offer. We get, we get a lot of questions on, on how, how to consume. And there is an info pack. Um, download the info pack at the Okra project website. Rob will kind of point out that we have provided some of this information on the catalog. Um, but essentially, download your info pack, define your workload requirements. You can make a direct award to a supplier. There will be a single supplier of services from each of the platforms in your country. Or you can run a mini desktop competition, which there's a tool set in, in the info pack, which allows you to reapply the initial tender award criteria response. Or run a mini competition amongst the select framework holders in your country prepare the service order, sign the, sign the call of contract and consume the service. Some of the frequently asked questions we get is in terms of legitimacy. Um, the important point here is that the call of contract between the institute and supplier is governed by local law in your country. The institutes are responsible for scoring and awarding decisions and direct awards are possible, you know, within conditions. If you can just justify a specific, selecting a specific service, um, Non-EU countries, because this was tended under, under EU um, law um, in some of the non-EU countries, the, the framework contracts can be used, can easily be used. Some of them might require some kind of publication on a local, um, on a local tendering platform in country. 
just uh, take a few minutes to update you on the uh, adoption of the cloud services uh, under the OCRA frameworks and the distribution channel of the uh, demand aggregation uh, under OCRA goes through the National Research and Education Network community, the NREN community, which is organized uh, in the in the Géant uh, project and in the Géant community. And uh, that is the way that the framework contracts make their way into the individual countries where they're then made available to uh, institutions of higher education and research. And uh, I would just like to uh, quickly walk you through uh, where that consumption uh, is happening. And uh, as you can see here, the overview from, from the Okra Cloud Catalog, we have 39 countries whose NRENs signed up to the Okra tender uh, way back at the beginning and who are therefore eligible to receive the frameworks and receive the benefits of the, uh, of the expanded cloud service catalog that uh, Rob has already introduced here. So this uh, benefit of a diverse set of cloud services available uh, in a different combination, but uh, a, a certain diversity of cloud services are available in every country. And of the countries that participated in the, in the OCRA framework, uh, 25 of those are EU countries who, as Dave uh, introduced earlier, have the, the most direct and most fr friction-free path towards consuming uh, under the frameworks because the framework is based on the EU procurement directive and those EU countries uh, should have or, or are guaranteed to have that in place in their national legislation and be able to consume. And uh, what we see in the statistics that over the over the years uh, since 2017, when the original Géant cloud service framework uh, was put in place, we've seen an increase uh, in the number of countries where active consumption of cloud services is taking place. And we're now at uh, above 50% for the entire OCRA membership countries, but we are nearly 100% of the EU countries that have the simplest and most direct way of consuming uh, the cloud services from the framework. And the Jean community uh, and the OCRA project, we're actively working with those other countries who have interest in consuming, but might face uh, some more legal footwork to be done before their national procurement situation is aligned uh, with the with the OCRA frameworks. Um, I have the honor of starting next year to be co-work package leader in the next JOWN project, which will be continuing the support of the OCRA frameworks once the OCRA project ends, but will also be preparing and executing the follow-on tender to maintain continuity with these cloud frameworks for the entire research. Um, Jakob, I think uh, you became uh, mute for a second. Uh, can you test your audio again? Yep. Okay. Apologies. Now it's good. I apparently have a slightly wonky microphone, which mutes itself sometimes. Okay. So uh, let me just quickly repeat. Over the last five years, we've had a strong growth uh, in the consumption. And uh, what we can also see is that um, the consumption in 2021, which is the first full year of the OCRA frameworks, has already shown a very strong uh, conversion rate from the previous frameworks combined with a growth. Um, the OCRA frameworks alone contributed 32 million euros of overall consumption across the European countries uh, last year. And uh, we're also seeing a grand total consumption of 93 million since 2017. So we're expecting to uh, cross the 100 million euro mark sometime during this year. And uh, under the assumption that that demand will focus nearly completely on the OCRA frameworks in this year and in following years, we'll be seeing a demand which is uh, probably going to exceed 50 million euros a year uh, from here on forward. Um, so that much just quickly as, a, as an update to the uh, framework adoption and uh, the consumption uh, development.